Good morning, people. This is Christian. It's Sunday morning, and I'm playing around with Fusion 360. And a question from Reddit. This is how I would do it. There are other workflows. You can use coils and other stuff. Uh, the design intent here, I wanted things to be in one sketch, if possible, which is what's. And the profile, if I look at this, you can see there's a radius here. So this profile here is looking at it straight along the back by my call a uh, uh, vertical plane looking at this is a half circle so this shape here is not like a round pipe this is more an ellipse shape running along this path up here it does end depends on your design intent as always geometry is always geometry so you have to think how you want to do it but if i got the question correct this is approximately what the design intent was so i hope this is correct so let's do this you need a couple of steps we can create a new design Start by saving your file as always. Start by save and do this. I just do the demonstration. I will not sign save, and I will not create a component because people whine when I create component variable rule number one and stuff like that. It's up to you. Do whatever workflow you want. We're gonna start with a line. The first line here is gonna be straight up. This is gonna be like the pitch. Let's do it 50 to start with. You can always go back and change dimensions later. So this is going to be, let's go back to this one, uh, this is going to be the height that the center point of this half circle moves up. So that is, if you look from the front, you can see that point is at the uh, center of this half circle. So that, we're going to do uh, some line, let's do our profile, we're going to do a profile over here, we're going to do a line up. Hold down the mouse button to get the arc, and a line straight down, and a line across. That's going to be horizontal. We're going to do an offset of uh, these three lines. Go do it minus. You have to do it minus inside. And uh, let's do two millimeters. So you have to remember if you change the, oops, sorry. If you're going to change this dimension here, it's going to be minus because it's inwards. We're going to dimension this outside here to be 12. Uh, the length, because this point here will be horizontally out from this so the length of this leg here to work when I sweep around it needs to be equal to this here so this is equal to this line and we do a line which is going to be our diameter of a radius sorry a radius from the center of our body that we sweep around the center here out to the center of the half circle and we're going to need some dimension for that too. Just give that 60 to start off with. I'm going to open my sketches and have a look. We have a fully defined sketch. We could do this in two sketches you want to do. Do the first pass first and then this. But we should do it in one sketch because people like to reduce the amount of steps you're using. And that's good in one way, but don't get too, uh, too hung up on making uh, your models the least amount of steps. Finish sketch. We're going to start with surface tool. We're going to create a sweep and we're going to sweep this line along this path. And now we need to decide the angle for our body. In this case, it's what 270 degrees and it's the right direction. Of course, we want to sweep the other direction. We put a minus sign in front of this. Hit OK. And we do a second sweep. We're going to move up to solid. Great. We're going to do a sweep. And normally it's going to change what we're going to look at this. You can select our profile. And we select our path. Make sure chain selection is not on because if it's on, it's going to try to sweep it along the full edge of this. We don't want that. We only want this helix edge here. Like that. Let Fusion think. And what's happening now is that it tries to keep the normal of a body, which is not what we want. So we're going to single path, change it to single path plus guide surface. And the surface we're going to select is our plane down here, our base plane, that's our XY plane. Like that, and that lo locks in the body so it doesn't spin around. And we're going to hit OK. We're going to open up our bodies, and for cleaning we're going to remove our shell body. Right click it, select Remove. It gets out of the way. We're going to hide our first sketch, we're going to create a second sketch. Do that on, you can use split bodies you want to do and remove uh, the leftover bodies, but this is what I prefer to do to keep it everything parametric. I'm gonna hit P for project. I'm gonna put in the body, this full body. Hit OK. E for extrude. You don't need to finish the sketch. And I want to do it at distance to object and select one of the corners down here. 
and fusion knows I want to cut away things so I say OK and a high vis sketch and by doing that we have created a part we can turn on the sketch right click and we can select show dimensions and if we don't show some bad places we can move them around and we can now hear oh no it need to be 15 and enter like that yeah or maybe if we want this to be a diameter let's go back to our first sketch click this right click and toggle diameter finish sketch so it's easier to think in diameter so it needs to be 40 millimeters in diameter you can do that we need a pitch of 60 millimeters or a height difference in 60. oh no it needs to be 100. Let's see if everything works i can't break this uh no we need minus four in thickness or four millimeters thickness of material we are working with the outside diameter you can do this other way around do the inside and then add thickness that's up to you so this is how I would create this part and make a fully parametric model where I can drive everything from my uh, input diameters here. With that said, take care, see you around and goodbye.